Here's a programming tool and a VS Code extension every developer should be using. It's the Function Maps feature from Code C. It's a real game changer and saves you a ton of time navigating and making sense of code bases. We've all been in situations trying to make sense of code within our code editors only to find ourselves jumping between a bunch of tabs and losing track of where we saw what function or class and how it's all connected. Well, the Function Maps feature from Code C gives you an infinite canvas where you can organize your code however you want and easily jump from functions to types to definitions and references. It's incredible. Let's take a look. So I'm currently in a code base where I have some code that interacts with the Spotify API. This method here, plays next, simply plays the next song in the queue. Let's assume I didn't write this code and I'm trying to take an in-depth look of the code and analyze how it connects with other components. After installing Code C, what I can do is right click on the function name and click on add definition to Code C map or use Control F12 as a shortcut. The function has now been added to the infinite canvas. I can then zoom into the function and analyze it line by line. Let's say I'm in here and I'm trying to figure out where this get authorized header method is. If I click on it, it automatically creates a map to the definition of the get authorized header method, right? So we can see that from this line here, this method is called and this method is in this file right here. I can also open the file by clicking this here and it'll highlight the method in the file. Going back here, let's say I wanted to see all the places where the play next function is being called. I can simply click on add references and it has showed me the places in the code base where the play next function is being called. This is a much better way to analyze the function and see where it's being called and what it's also calling. And it's way better than having four or five tabs open. This also works with classes as well. For example, I have this refresh class and I want to analyze it. Same thing. I can right click and click on add definition to code C map, or I can hold control F12 and it automatically adds it to the code C drawer. I can then pull this and add it to my definition, right? Add it to my infinite canvas. If I want to see where it's being called again, I click on add references and it opens all the places where the refresh class is being either instantiated or it's being imported to another file. Instead of having a bunch of tabs open and trying to remember where you saw what function or method, you can have a nice map here that shows you how everything is being connected. Let's take a look at it in a JavaScript application, specifically in a React app. I'm currently in a code for a URL shortener application I made some time back. I have this unsubmit method that creates a short URL and stores the long URL in a database. Again, I can analyze this function by going to the function definition and clicking control and F12. It then adds the function definition to the code C infinite map. I can zoom in and Let's say I want to figure out where this validate input method is. I can simply click it and it creates a map to the function definition. So I can see the flow of how the unsubmit method works. Similar to the Python methods, you can also click on add reference and see all the places where the unsubmit method is being called in the whole code base. In this case, it's called in this button here. You can also minimize the view on the infinite map. Another thing I can do is I can change the scope of what I am analyzing. So instead of analyzing just the unsubmit method, I can analyze the whole class by clicking this and clicking on form. Now it has showed everything in the class. I can then go through and analyze the whole class and see where specific methods are, are being called. Like say this get database function as well. I can also see all the references for the form class by clicking the add reference and it shows me where the class is being exported or imported from. This is a much better view and it's easier to visualize than having four or five tabs open trying to remember where you saw what. Code C also has other services like Codebase Maps that creates a mapping of your entire code base, allowing you to see how files and components are connected to each other. You can also color code similar components together. They also have a service map that creates a map for how external services and APIs are connected to your system. This makes it easy to visualize connections across services and know what will be impacted if you make a change in a specific place. All the maps are interactive, shareable, and can be used for pull requests, code and design reviews, and much more. One of the toughest parts of onboarding to a new project is learning the code base and having a tool like this to visualize the code and services makes it a lot easier. Go check out Code C today using the link in my bio.